Remember that time SpaceX's Falcon 9 kind of exploded? Well, Elon Musk does, and at least now we have preliminary results for why that happened. This is Space News. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Space News. We have an update on that SpaceX explosion a few months. Is it a month ago now? No, a few weeks. A few weeks ago? Yeah, it seems like forever. So, uh, the CRS-7, their resupply mission of the international... Uh, SpaceX's resupply mission yes, of the, the International, international Space, Space Station... Station failed when it looks like the rocket started to disintegrate from the second stage higher up on the rocket and right. then the entire thing failed right and this is about two minutes into the launch so pretty quick now the failure took place over the span of less than a second so it took them a while to figure out what went wrong using the telemetry they had right but they managed to use accelerometers spaced throughout the rocket to sense where vibrations were coming in order to find out what the failure was. Right, so they triangulated the position based off all these other different accelerometers and found that it seemed to be due to a, a, a helium tank, helium gas tank, yeah. inside the, o, the liquid oxygen tank of the second stage. Now, one of the, these tanks are supposed to be held inside yes. the liquid oxygen tank, down below. With in, struts. With struts. Holding them there. Right, and every other launch, things have gone fine, but... Just for some reason, these happen to be some weak struts, and therefore they broke under the pressure, and the helium tank went up, helium busts out, expanded, and then disaster. Uh, so yeah. the important thing about these struts are that they are one of the parts that are not manufactured in-house by SpaceX. Not. Normally, SpaceX takes pride in how many parts they make for their own rockets, mm -hmm. and when this failure happened, they thought, oh, we can at least find out what the failure was faster because chances are it's our part yeah but it isn't it's actually a third party manufacturer which will not be getting any orders ever again right so it's good news for them because hey they didn't screw up somebody else's it's, product yeah, screwed it's up. The, yeah third party that did because the 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 strut was designed to was said to have been designed to sustain ten thousand pounds of pressure and only two thousand pounds of pressure was applied to that before strut it broke. before it broke so that's really bad really bad so hopefully SpaceX, they plan on uh, testing all the struts from now on, and actually probably, I would say, if they're also changing they're make the, the metal part. composition because they yeah. didn't like how the steel was behaving on the inside where you can see, yeah. they, they put these through a ton of tests. Right. So the good thing, good news is this will hopefully never happen again because they've isolated the problem and it wasn't one of theirs. And uh, like a last fun fact about this was the Dragon capsule. Mm -hmm was intact until it like flew into the ocean yeah but the fact that it it didn't blow up with the rocket or yeah. anything means that they are now going to update even the cargo dragons the unmanned ones with software that can trigger its parachutes if it ever is disconnected from a falcon like this again right and that's great because, and the cargo can be recovered yes because there's a lot of experiments that were lost and uh supplies and everything this way it won't be such a major loss if such an event were to happen again so that's good Good news for Elon Musk. Very sort of late birthday present for him, I guess. Yeah. But anyway, that's good news. Thank you for watching. Thanks. I'll see you out there. Thanks for watching. Like and comment below so we know what kind of content you guys like and want more of. If you want to help support the show, follow the link in the descriptions to buy cool swag related to our show. Thanks. <laughs>